Okay, can we use strategy range Kumo breakout when the Kumo is moving horizontal? Is a breakout of the Kumo works or not? That will be the question. So let's look for the market that's in the range right now. Euro JP, a weekly 4 hour chart. It's kind of sloping down right now. This one might be the good example here. This is 1 minute chart. It's kind of a micro a time frame, but it still works. Ichimoku Kinko Hyo. Although, you know, they're, they've got some noise here. If you look at the Kumo right now, it's horizontal, right? So do you remember how to identify the range on the market by looking at the Kumo? Of course, the Kumo looks to be horizontal when the market is in a range, but there's another characteristic to it in the Kumo. Can you remember which one that is? Like when the market is in a range, the Kumo will become horizontal like this. But besides the Kumo itself, what would you be looking at in the Kumo? And I think that will be the answer for the breakout of the Kumo. When the Kumo is in a range, um, what line would you look at? Which line would you focus? Single span B horizontal and I see B, answer B. <laughs> That's the most simple question here, a uh, simple answer here. Yeah, actually you look at the single span 2, right? Or single span B, however you call it. Single span B, when it's moving horizontal like this, this shows the range on the market in the long term, right? Single span 2, single span B. Thank you, thank you. You're, you guys are all right. You guys are all right. So when the single span B is moving horizontal like this, this one shows the market is in the range completely. The Kumo itself is moving horizontal, but especially when while the Kumo is moving horizontal, when you see the single span B is also moving horizontal, this is exactly when the market is in the range. Like this one is like market is moving up, like this part right here, the market is moving up, and this part too, market is slightly moving up, and single span too. Right now, the market start to moving up right now, right? And right here, it's moving Oh, not this one, sorry. <laughs> and this one right here, it's slightly moving down. But whenever you see it's horizontal, right? While the Kumo is moving horizontal, whenever you see the single span B is also moving horizontal, that means the market is completely in a range. And that means the market is not really renewing the highs or lows in this case for the past 52 candlesticks. And actually when this happens, it might be a signal of the trend reverse to the upside or downside because that means the market has been consolidating for a long time. And if you focus on this single span 2 here, this line can be the mid price, what we call hanne in Japanese, but the mid price of the whole range market. This single span 2 is actually the mid price of the whole range. To make the story short, Kumo breakout itself doesn't mean anything when the Kumo is moving horizontal, but it means a lot when the price actually breaks this single span 2 upwards or downwards, right? Because this is the equilibrium point in the market where buyers or sellers are get exactly on the same power level. So when it breaks it upwards or downwards, that means the market can move towards that direction, especially when the single span is moving horizontal. Like here, the market is breaking this horizontal single span B downwards and it's kind of going down but it's gonna bounce back up. And after this break right here, it's moving towards upside, right? It's moving towards upside. After it marked the highest here, like a double top here, uh, the market actually coming all the way down. And when it's parallel right here, when the single span B is horizontal, this is where exactly the market actually breaking it downwards. Uh, when you look at the market, when you look at the Kumo here, uh, you only focus on the single span B first. At this stage, you better look at the single span B only. When the market actually breaks horizontal, single span B downwards, while the market is in the range, that means a lot. That means the market is changing its uh, power balance from the buyers to sellers, right? And sellers to buyers, things like that. Right now, the price is actually below the Kumo right now. Most likely, the market is will be moving, like sloping down a little bit, maybe. And But this part of the Kumo is moving horizontal. Right, let me delete all these. So this part of the Kumo is horizontal. So you have to watch out when the market is actually breaking part upwards. And when the candlestick actually moves upwards like this, then you have to watch out the breakout of the Kumo because most likely the market will change its balance from the seller's world to the buyer's now. All right, so this is one of the strategies that you can take when the market is horizontal. So that's one of the things that you can do for the Kumo breakout in the range. All right, moving on to the next one.